And we're back on Teawara, and today we're going to be doing the Shami Guide. If you guys want to see some of the other guides I've done so far for Teawara, there will be a playlist that is linked at the end of the video for you guys to check out. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And Shami is going to be the first species that we've covered so far that no longer has their drink time. Their drink time got taken away about three or four updates ago, I want to say. Um, and now we're going to be covering their feed time, though. So they feed from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. And I really wasn't too sure exactly where to look, but I think I found about three or four different really good locations that you can find these Shami um, feeding in. They are a class 3 species which gives you a couple different options for guns. We have a few, a few examples here. The Ranger 243, which is recommended classes 2 through 6, effective range of 150 meters, and magazine size of 5. This gun overall is a good gun. It's the first gun you get when you enter into the game, and it's just a, a really reliable gun. It would do pretty well on the chamois. The Solikin MN 1890 defense line, or the Mosin as most people call it, recommended classes 3 through 7, effective range of 150 meters, and magazine size of 5. This gun is really good, and I think it would probably overall be the best gun for the chamois. Then you have the um, air rifle here, the Vasquez Cyclone 45. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but the air rifle is pretty good as well. It would take them a little bit longer to go down, but to recommend classes 2 through 4, effective range of 50 meters, you'd have to get pretty close, and magazine size of 7. But overall, it's a pretty decent gun. Max level for chamois is level 5, max weight is 65 kg, silver is 30.8, gold is 46.3, and diamond is 58. So if you find one that um, has estimates that go over um, 58, definitely take it down. My first ever diamond chamois and my only diamond chamois is a level 4. I was super surprised when I got that because I've been, I was trolled by a bunch of level 5s. Then I got that guy and he was a level 4 diamond. It was really cool to see. Um, fur types, um, the um, common fur types are brown, dark brown, gray brown, and honey tones. Rare fur types are albino, leucistic, and melanistic. I'd really love to get an albino um, chamois at some point. I think that'd be super cool. And then let's see, is there any collars? No, there's no collars for them, so that pretty much does it for all the basic information. We're going to go ahead and jump right in, and I'm going to show you some of the best spots to hunt the chamois. And we have a decent herd to start things off with a level 3 over here, 39 to 47, then a pretty big level 3 here, 44 to 52. But pretty much every herd I've found so far has at least a couple males in it and then a bunch of females and stuff like that. But yeah, we're over here on the mountain right now, and this has been the best area for these zones. You can see, we just have a ton of feed zones all along the side of the mountain here, going down in here, and then just kind of all the way around to the um, back side there. I even have a few zones that go along here. Basically, this entire mountain at the top of the map is really good for chamois, and it's got a lot of feed zones on it. You have a couple feed zones down here along the river. Here we got some right there, and then we have a couple feed zones over here, and that's pretty much where I have all my spots so far. I haven't really looked anywhere else, but that'll get you pretty um, pretty much started, but we're going to go to a few of these zones here, check out some of them. Let's go ahead and let's try to get that guy right there. I want to see if I can get position here. He is kind of facing us right now. Let's get position. Let's see if we can take down this guy. And we also have apparently some others down here. There they are right there. I was trying to figure out where they were because that's a zone, but I was not able to find them. Looks like they're just off the zone just a bit there. But we have a level 3 there. Is there any others or is that the only one? Let's go ahead and take him down. Why not? 39 to 47 for his estimates. He's a little bit closer. Let's take down this guy. And they shouldn't flee over there. Um, we'll have to wait and see. We're going to use the Mosin here. And let's take that shot, and that'll be good. He's dropping pretty quickly as well, so the Mosin did really well on him. And yeah, they're going to stay over there. He is currently alert, but he should go to laying back down. Let's head down there, let's get this level 3, and then try to get position to take down that guy. And here's this level 3 right here. Let's pick him up, and he will be a silver at 41.55. Got him in the left lung and the right lung right there, and that was just an absolutely perfect shot. Right into the right lung, right through the middle, into that right lung. Just an absolutely beautiful shot on this guy. And he will be a silver. What is gold again? Gold is 46.36. Let's go ahead and accept him, and we're going to sneak up on this other herd. I'm going to go ahead and mark him really quickly. We're going to sneak up on him. I'm going to try to use the air rifle on this guy, so let's get up here and see how close we can get. And here's the big level 3 right here, 44 to 52 for his estimates. He's about 90 meters out right there, but I think we can take him here with the air rifle. Even though the effective range is only about 50 meters, we can aim just a little bit high, and it should be good to take him down. Let's go ahead and let's go for that right there. And we, we dropped him right there. I'm curious to see what we hit. We may have got spinal cord or something like that, but we absolutely dropped him right there on the spot. I'm definitely curious, and they're just kind of still chilling right there, but yeah, they're definitely going to start fleeing as I come over the hill, so we won't worry about getting them. Don't want to create too much hunting pressure right over here. But yeah, let's go ahead and pick him up. We definitely have vital blood right there. Um, Let's see, where's that other level three? There was a second one over here, right? I really don't know. Maybe he's down that way. That's probably going to be him right there. 
Um, let's see, can we spot him real quick? There he is, 39 to 47. Let's go ahead and let's pick this guy up, though. And let's see, we got him in the heart right there. That was a perfect shot, left lung, heart, and right lung. Absolutely perfect shot with the air rifle. Um, He's going to be a silver, though, just 46 for his estimate there. Would have needed, oh, he's almost a gold, 46.36. He was really close. But yeah, that was a absolutely perfect shot on this level 3. And we have another really decent level 3 right there, 45 to 53. There's also a level 3 female that just walked beside him there, if we can actually spot her. 42 to 49 for her estimates, and there's also a level 2 female right there. I don't know if there's any others over there. There's also a herd somewhere down here. We can go ahead and take a look at the map here, and it's going to be that herd right there. I just can't actually spot them because they're just below that hill right there. There might be one right there. I think that is one, yeah. But can't really spot them there. We're going to go ahead and take down that guy, or not that guy. That is going to be the female. Um, there's another level 2 female right there. Of course, the level 3 is going to move out of position, but we should be able to get him right there. We're going to use the um, Mosin again, and we should be able to take that shot, potentially get into the lung there. Definitely hit him, I would say. Um, there he goes. Yeah, we got him. That was a good shot. Wasn't too sure there, but that was a really good shot on him. And yeah, just um, right over here on the mountain still, this whole entire area is really good for chamois. I would recommend like setting up tents and stuff, like where you think you're going to need the tents at, because I don't have any set up. But set some tents up so you don't have to like walk up here all the time and like stumble around the rocks and stuff. But definitely one of the best areas for them. And here's this guy right here. Let's go ahead and pick him up, and he will be a silver at 46.19. Once again, another one that's really close to being a gold, but just not quite there. Got him in the right lung at 304 meters and almost didn't get the lung there. If he, we'd been about two inches or so to the right, we would not have got that shot. But overall, it took him down really quickly. I can't complain about it too much there. Let's go ahead and let's go to some of the other areas. I said the mountain's really good. Let's head down to, like, the river here, and we'll check out a few of these zones. And we have another level 3 up ahead, 34, 241. Not the biggest guy ever, but we'll go ahead and take him down here with the 243. We haven't used the 243 yet today. And I actually need to buy um, ammo for this gun. Did not realize that until just now. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's get him really quickly. And we completely missed How did we miss that the first time? We got him the second time there. How did we miss that that first time? I literally do not know. But yeah, um, the river here, it's decent. It doesn't have the best zones at it. That was a single male, I'm pretty sure. There is another zone up here, but um, it's kind of in like the trees and stuff, in the woods and stuff. So it's kind of difficult to get up there and actually get a good position on any of them up there. But definitely check around the river here, see if you got zones. And then like I said, over here by the Lake Wakati, there's some decent zones over here. But the best area is definitely going to be up here at this mountain. There are just a ton of zones around here, and I'm sure I've still got plenty of others I can find. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of others through here. Got a couple. Oh, that's a feral goat. Never mind. We got a couple through here, and I'm sure there's plenty of others up there. But definitely go to the, um, I would say, up there to the mountain and check it out. We got a um, European rabbit right there, and I think we only have three more guides to do after this. After this one, we have three more guides. The European rabbits, um, what else is there? The turkeys, and then the mallards. The mallards were re recently added to Tay War, so we only have three more to do. Let's go and let's pick this guy up, and let's see how we did that second time. And yeah, we got him in the spinal cord right there. We saved it with a spinal cord shot, even though we did get the left lung there just barely. I guess we were just aiming really high. We just aimed high there, and that's what caused that first shot to miss him completely. But he will be a silver at 37.89. And yeah, just a small little silver. Nothing too crazy about this guy. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you the map guide. And here's the Shemi map right here. Let's take a look at it. And like I said, the mountain up there at the top of the map is going to be the best spot. On the left side especially, there are just a ton of zones. And I'm sure there's some on the right side as well that I just completely missed out on. I only have three over there. But I'm sure there's a bunch over there as well. But that mountain is going to be the best area for the Shemi. You also have some along the river there and then also on the Lake Wakati. But I'm sure I've missed some other zones, but these should help you get started in hunting the chamois. And I hope it really is helpful. And if you if it was helpful, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.